Hey guys, it's Matt with Bleep and Jeep. I'm in Louisville, Kentucky at the Unlimited Off-Road Expo. This thing is only a few years old and it's grown to be one of the biggest off-road expos that I've ever seen. Let's check it out. So we've got a, a, a bolt-on coilover system here using a, a Fox 2.5 inch, 10 inch travel DSC adjustable coilover. And uh, in the place of the factory coil spring, we got the Fox IFP bump stop as well. True bolt-on design, just take the front shock tower off and, and then everything just tags into what's already there. It's a tube plasma cutting machine that'll uh, cut out your copes and holes and tubing and then also mark your bend locations right in the tube so when this is done processing everything is cut marked ready for your bender basically uh, we've been doing software for 17 years and uh, it's very user friendly it's fabricator friendly you don't have to be a software expert you don't have to be a CAD expert you can however import designs from other CAD programs or you can use our full CAD suite so you kind of have the best of both worlds when it comes to the software I'm Azzy. We make custom gauges for Jeeps, uh, mostly JKs, TJs, XJs, and uh, we make a few other parts. So we make a shift kit, do custom designs. You may have seen our stuff with JCR, with River Raider Off-Road, Hawk Designs, JC Whitney, if I need to drop a few names. Armando Verdu with Arctic Industries. We are a manufacturer that uh, specializes in axle swaps and components for axle swaps. We also do suspension kits, uh, universal four-link, three-link systems, as well as a number of bracketry and mounts for fuel cells, batteries, and uh, fluid containment. Uh, we are a full-service full manufacturer made in the USA, and uh, we're out here just showing some of our wares. Well, he's he's only in two different ways before. So he's too much. What's it in reference to? Hello. Hey guys, this is Tim from TMR Customs, just here with Matt from Bleepin' Jeep showing off some new products. So first we're looking at our uh, new Dana 60 high steer arm. That's for the 05 Plus Super Duty axle. If you look on the back side here, you can see this key design and we machine that into the knuckle for additional strength. Next we're taking a look here at our new punch press dimple dies. They work with a Greenlee or similar electrical knockout punch. It's a fast way to uh, put the hole in your material and then the die brings them together to give you that dimpled look. Next, we're taking a look at our new inch and three quarter heim joint. This guy here allows you to run a one inch bolt with high misalignment. That's a new industry first and it also has our pinch bunk tube but after for additional clamping force. Now we're also going to take a look at our uh, new anti-wobble with stem. So this guy's perfect for those of you building trailing arms and where rotation would hurt, uh, your, your link would rotate too far, bend or break your shock eye. 
and here it is next to an inch and a quarter heim, which was the industry standard as the largest piece, just so you can see the difference between the two. Here's our new uh, interlocking square tube clamps. We make them both the interlocking and flat design. You've seen Matt use those before in round. Now we make them out of square for those of you who are interested in building square cross members. And here's a little bit selection just to show you all our round, square, and hex weld and tube bungs, as well as our stainless steel high misalignment spacers. Like all our great products, are CNC machined in-house. My name is Jake Berkey, and today at the Unlimited Off-Road Expo, we've installed a Berkey Racing Roll Cage. This is brought to you by Busted Knuckle Off-Road. BustedKnuckleOffRoad.com is where you can find it. Just click on the UTV section, and just below it, you'll see a lot of roll cages. Now, this particular kit was a weld-on kit, and we decided that we wanted to bring it to the Expo to show everybody just how easy it is to put this thing together. It's all made out of 095 DOM tubing, and everything is cut with a tube dragon, so you know all the notches are going to be perfect. This roll cage took us about two hours from tearing down and putting all the way together, and this particular cage is only $6.99. You can actually take the feet and remove the feet and use your feet off of your cage and get it for $650. And if you want us to weld it out, we can ship it to your door, weld it out, ready to go for $1,000. So this is our all new Door Freedom uh, Jeep door removal tool. So what you want to do is you install our custom aluminum brackets, uh, then you line our tool up, use the foot pedal operation, eject the tool up, and then when you get it off, you lower it back down, roll it to where you would normally store your doors, take them off and store them. When you're ready, you put them back on the tool, bring them over, line them up, and use the hydraulic release to drop it back down. It's that simple. I'm Mike with Crawltech Revolution. Uh, these are our two-door JK sliders. Uh, they're a unique design. They don't require the body cladding uh, to be added to the vehicle. You can just bolt them on without having to do any additional drilling or cutting. Uh, they use the body mounts and the pinch seam mounts. They have a replaceable outer panel and uh, the rock lights are optional. Hey, I'm Alan with Ox Lockers. Uh, we make selectable locking differentials for the aftermarket uh, off-road uh, industry. We have uh, selectable locking differentials. When they're open or off, it's just an open differential, just like the stock one would be. When you lock, it's a solid lock, just like a spool would be. Uh, we make them in uh, manual shift, electric shift, and air shift. Uh, basically, the locker is the same, regardless of what you choose. Uh, it's just how we shift the uh, shifting fork over and uh, it's a pretty dependable setup. Hello, this is Drew Newman here with the Napier Precision Products booth. Um, I'm using their V2 pocket flares on my 1990 Comanche. Um, I've got a true testimony here of how tough they are. These things can Withstand the trees, uh, bounce them off many of them, and uh, no damage at all whatsoever to the flare. Um, wish I could say the same for my Comanche.
keys and everything like that. Check out some of the cool cars in the show.